seventh race. Number one, OTB letter A, is Wee Janelle with Larry Ben Rathbone. Raph Baldwin would have liked this field of trotters. Five of them, Spencer, have won their last starts. Wee Janelle has won her last three starts, including one at Showplace in Jersey, two here at Roosevelt, moves up in class, has been 21 times, first, second, or third, in 30 starts. And uh, Wee Janelle, the only A2 classified horse in this field, to be a Scully with Jimmy Laurent. This is a change in pattern. This is a former pacer who this year, because he was sour, he had a bad disposition as a pacer, was put on the trot. Usually it's the other way around, mm -hmm. but he's been doing very well on the trot and has won 65,000 this year. Number three, OTB letter C, is Highland Bridget with Sonny Patterson. Good high-class mare and a very hot driver in Sonny Patterson. Highland Bridget won 100,000 last year, 73,000 this year. Has won her last two starts and should be a factor here. Number four, OTB letter D, is Wonder Child with you partial on the bike. Wonder Child has won his last three starts, including one at Greenville, Ohio at the fair and two at Scioto Downs and moves back to the New York big time, which he does occasionally and usually goes home sad. <laughs> Number five, OTB letter E is surrogate with Joe Mars Jr. Also a winner in his last start here in the open handicap at Roosevelt and a winner of 75,000 this year. Number six, OTB letter F, Banker Barker with Mike Zeller. The class horse in the field, only a four-year-old, only one of three four-year, four four-year-olds, I take it back. There are four four-year-olds in the race, but Banker Barker won 318,000 last year, 107,000 this year has been racing better, including Edile du Gazo. Just that was her last, his last race in, in Sweden. Sweden. Number seven, OTB letter G, a stately spride with Dave Drew. Also a winner last time out, and has won 10 out of 17 this year and $80,000. We'd indicate that this trotter, whose last win was here in the open in two minutes and four fifths, if he goes back to that race, he'll be tough. And number eight, OTB letter H, is Liam with J.P. Gautier. Winner of seven out of 17 and 57,000, but I think that Liam or Liam or whatever it may be faces a tough assignment here, particularly from the outside. Consistent horses, fast trotters, and young trotters, four four-year-olds and four five-year-olds, which is unusual for an open handicap, but that's what we have, a good field, and here is Jack Lee to call the action. Jack? Mera of on the inside, we Janelle and Scully try for lead far outside. Quickly, it's State Lee's pride. Rushing to the first turn, State Lee's pride and Dave Drew up for the lead. That's we Janelle trotting a second, a gap of a two and a half lengths. It's as Scully away third. Parked on the outside, Wonder Child is fourth. Moving with cover, Liam is fifth. At the rail, Highland Bridge at sixth. The early trailers are surrogate and bank. Barker moving by the quarter pole in 29 and 4. It's Stately's Pride on top by full length. We Janelle is second on the outside. That's Wonder Child third. Up the rail, Scully fourth. As they move to the top of the stretch the first time, Stately's Pride in command by full length. We Janelle maintains second. On the outside, Wonder Child is third. Scully at the rail is fourth. On the outside, Liam with cover fifth. At the half mile pole, it's Stately's Pride showing the way by a length. The outside, Wonder Child is second up the rail. Wee Janelle third. Liam fourth. Scully fifth. Surrogate up sixth. Highland Bridget and the trailer is still Banker Barker. The half mile was in 1 1 and 1. Down the back stretch, the final time. Stately's Pride leads it by three parts of a length. On the outside, Wonder Child is second up the rail. Wee Janelle is third. Liam on the outside, fourth. Scully fifth. Surrogate sixth. Highland Bridget seventh. And the trailer is Bank of Barker three quarters, 131 and three. Moving around the final turn, showing the way is Stately's Pride by a full length. Wee Janelle with the perfect trip moves to the outside to challenge. Scully along the inside takes third. Wonder Child back fourth. They're in the stretch for the finish. That's Stately's Pride with the lead. We Janelle on the outside a second as they come to the wire. Stately's Pride along the inside. The in front. Under the wire, Stately's Pride driven by Dave Drew scores an impressive wire-to-wire -wire victory over We Janelle. A mile in two minutes, one and one fifth seconds. This five-year-old is for real. Scully winds up third and now down the track side with Spencer Ross.
He sure likes to race, does Staley's Pride. The only problem is getting him to stop because just like last week, he wants to go another mile, and it took Twiggy, the outrider, to bring him back to the barn, right? What is it? Is this a normal tray with him? Well, it seems like this time of the year when he gets, I don't know if he gets a little overly rammy or racy or what, but he gets to a different racetrack, and he acts up quite a bit. Acts up quite a bit, but wins his second in a row and does it splendidly. This time going right to the front, and you stay there right into the stretch, and then you begin to get a bit of a challenge right here as we come to the three quarters. The perfect trip for Wee Janelle, and Wee Janelle now moves out on you. And at this point, what was going through your mind? Nothing. I knew he'd try all he could, could and uh, the only thing I ever do with him usually is just try to hit the saddle pad and wake him up a little bit. He'll go to sleep a little bit. But Wee you know. Janelle right here gets a little a bit rough-gated, but uh, still keeps coming at you. For those folks at home who think you're hitting the horses, you say you're really hitting the saddle pad. Just hit the saddle pad, yeah. Yeah, especially him, because he gives it his all all the time. Okay, you say it's the end of the year. He wants to go home. Do you rest him over the winter? Yeah, he'll be turned out in Orlando. Okay, so you don't want any more rough nights like this. You like the wind, but it's tough getting him home. Right, he needs a rest. Okay, David Drew, he drives the winner tonight in the feature trot. A very impressive victory indeed. And let's get back upstairs to Stan. <laughs> Didn't act like he needed a rest. He acted like he did it easy, and the crowd didn't believe him, even though he'd won his last in two minutes and four. Bounces back in two, one, and one. Four, co-owner David Drew and trainer driver David Drew. Robert Richards, the other co-owner. And as number seven letter G, Stately Spy pays $12.50. 